The Beast Titan is back. So much freaking hype. The new Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 trailer is out. So what's up guys, Fox in here. As expected, the new Attack on Titan Season 3 trailer dropped with the Attack on Titan event going on in Japan today. It's got the perfect way to kick this off with the Beast Titan Commander returning. Why am I suddenly craving sushi and barbecue in the morning? Anyway, time for a shot by shot breakdown for this Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 trailer. Definitely be sure to give this video a colossal thumbs up and subscribe for more juicy Attack on Titan weekly videos. With the Beast Titan, you have that boulder being launched over the wall. Or is it that high? By the way, it's so great how it leads into Erwin and the Survey Corps on top of the wall. It is Commander vs. Commander. Next up, a trailer is not complete without Levi Ackerman. For Levi here, standing on the freaking horse. Come on, doesn't that just look so pet ass? Of course, Levi just had to show up before latching onto the freaking wall. You got in a ton of Levi Ackerman in Season 3 so far, and you're about to get another mouthful. I'm definitely waiting for some specific Levi animation this season. As for the hole here, Aaron and friends could thank the Armored Titan for that one. Recall back in Attack on Titan Season 1 that Reiner Kool-Aid manned the wall here. Eventually, hundreds of thousands of people were lost. But before that came Aaron's mother and hometown. Can you say revenge? You could also hear Armin mentioning how they've returned home here. Next up, so many faces, Survey Corps members, plus one commander. This shot right here actually reminded me of the Kenny squad surrounding Levi in the first Season 3 episode. This time, it's up for the Survey Corps to do the same thing, but to the Beast Titan army. As for Erwin's dialogue here, he mentions how they need to plug up both of the Wall Maria holes in order for the mission to be a success. Come on, Eren, time to get your Titan hard. Twice. Next up, talking about Eren, he got Eren on top of the wall. You can only just imagine how emotional he must feel about seeing the sight of his hometown. How much did he lose in this very spot? How far has humanity been torn down? That'll definitely be fueling Eren in this upcoming battle. Then, you gotta love this shot of Eren flying in the air. Right here, Eren mentions that he could do it, but quickly corrects himself saying, we can do it, as in him and the Survey Corps. In other words, really preaching what he learned in the Uprising arc. Armin right here has a line about Reiner and Bert being close by. Watch out Eren for any unexpected Colossal Titans appearing. By the way, I'm just loving the shot of the original Survey Corps trio. You got Levi, Erwin, and Hanji. There's definitely some parallels to Eren, Mikasa, and Armin right here. Next up, Eren actually flying into the freaking sky, then going into Titan mode. I just gotta love this shot. Such a perfect example of the anime plusing the manga source material. This should be episode 1, so hopefully they do keep this up for all 12 episodes. Come on, what studio, you cannot mess up the best Attack on Titan season. As for Armin, you got Armin in the hot seat. Gotta think on your feet too, not just Commander Erwin. Otherwise, you're gonna be turned into Titan lunch meat. Next up, the demon Levi Ackerman unleashed. Oh crap, are they spoiling too much. I mean, Levi just penetrated Reiner's thick neck. So, oh no, Levi already took out Reiner in the first episode. I'm really hoping that they don't go overboard with the censoring this time around. Either way, don't you worry. Just a second later, the Armored Titan comes out to play. Oh yes, this is gonna be a wonderful season. Before that shot, you did have the rock smashing into the Wall Maria gate. The Beast Titan should have thrown a couple of horses too. Better watch out, Levi. You know what happened to poor Mike. Do you guys recall Mike? Anyway, forget about Reiner. You got a bunch of Titans being born in the background. I've especially been waiting for the scene to be shown in the anime. Looks like they're not using the Titan Lightning now, but instead using the Titan Light Effect for the Beast Titan Army's arrival. I think that look on Arun's face right here says it all. Oh crap, we might be in trouble. You then got a quick shot of Levi and Mikasa, the two Ackermans. This should be early on when they're looking for the warriors in hiding. In the trailer, Levi tells them that they gotta kill Birds and Reiner. Otherwise, humanity cannot reclaim Wall Maria. As for the other Beast Titan shot, take a look at his red eyes again and that crouching position definitely gives off this creepy vibe. I think this is a perfect example of the Beast Titan and really fitting his name. It just gives off this feeling of this humanoid beast monster demon mixture. Next up, back to the hoodie Erwin. Nothing too special about this shot, but it does transition into his final line of dialogue. Erwin is yelling about who's gonna be the final ones to survive, humanity or these titans. Unfortunately, no Colossal Titan cameo, but you did get a cameo from the Armored Titan fellow. Honestly, what is up with those red eyes? I mean, I'm liking how the Armored Titan looks with them. No complaints right there. But unlike the Beast Titan, it really doesn't make too much sense for Reiner to have them. Unless this could be due to that spoiler reason. Hmm. As for the final shot, you got Eren with his rock-hard Titan. 
Come on, Aaron, there's two holes in Wall Maria that you gotta plug up. Do not choke here. So overall, I'm super hyped. Can we get this new Attack on Titan season like tomorrow? I'm actually even more hyped than I'm actually gonna be in Japan when this Attack on Titan season three is airing. As for a couple of other quick, notable things. This is starting off with the Beast Titan blocking their escape. Right here, they chose to give the Beast Titan red glowing eyes. In the past, they have shown this guy with yellow eyes before, sometimes going into this black yellow mixture. The red glow should be from him controlling the Titans. Hmm. And then this other quick thing about the Beast Titan is that his first name is actually included in the trailer credits. That's right, they mentioned Zeke. And just for this upcoming season 3 anime season, I'm extremely curious to see how casual Attack on Titan fans will react to the reveals here. If you're one of the ones that hated season 3 because of the politics stuff and no titans, you're going to love the first two thirds of this. Attack on Titan season 3 part 2 will have the most titans yet. And you know what comes alongside titans, don't you? Something that starts with the letter D. However, how many of you will still be on board once they reach the basement reveal? I do wonder. As for what this new season will cover from the manga, it should cover chapter 73 up to chapter 90. That is a lot of stuff to cover, but keep in mind that they already did the Ymir flashback stuff back in season 2. As for the song that was actually played in the trailer, even without seeing the title, I instantly thought back to the Attack on Titan soundtrack from season 1. So it looks like it's a variation of the actual song titled Attack on Titan from that season, just a slightly updated version. Either way, cannot wait for the new season 3 soundtrack. When is that coming out? Talking about the soundtrack, how about the opening? Unfortunately, there still is no official confirmation on who's doing the opening or ending for this Season 3 arc. You should be hoping for Linked Horizon to come back to do the opening. This new Attack on Titan Season 3 definitely needs something closer to the Season 1 and Season 2 opening. And I know some of you will be asking for the release date. For a while, we've known that it's coming out April 2019, in other words, Spring Anime Season. No concrete actual date yet. Although the spring anime season does start in the first week of April, so maybe in the 6th or 7th. Fingers crossed that I'm actually moved back to Japan by that time. But anyway, let me hear from you now. Question of the day. How hyped are you after seeing this new season 3 trailer? Was it perfect or did they show way too much? And what are you most excited to see from this new season 3? By the way, just keep in mind I will be doing a more in-depth breakdown in the coming few days. Definitely subscribe for that. My SAO Alicization review is also coming up. If you're anime only, don't miss my recent Attack on Titan Season 2 and Top Deaths ranked video. Anyway, be sure to give this a call, a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, don't miss my new Attack on Titan videos each week. But don't forget about the other juicy anime videos. Find out what the best anime were from 2018. Where did Attack on Titan Season 3 rank? Be sure to hit bell notifications and I'll see you guys later.